How's it going everybody? My name is Plague and in this video I wanted to talk about the video game industry a little bit because I feel like something big has finally started to happen which I believe is kind of like a shifting of tides so to speak in a direction that the video game and video game company should never have drifted away from in the first place. Let's jump straight into it. Now I don't know about the rest of you but more recently I feel like the video game industry is in this weird tug of war between companies who genuinely want to make a good game and companies who are in it only kind of to make a quick buck. We went through this period of darkness where every game coming out was either an early access mess or bogged down by microtransactions and battle passes. And a lot of the time it was a combination of the two. Something these games usually all had in common was a live service model. I remember when live service was really just starting to come into the fray with games like Battlefield and everyone was talking about how it was going to save Battlefield and bring the community together by getting rid of Battlefield Premium. Well, I'll tell you what, definitely did bring the community together. It just brought them together somewhere that wasn't live service Battlefield. Even after all this, yet for some reason, time after time, companies want to push the live service model until all we have is a heaping pile of shitty dead games that everyone just kind of wants to forget. That is one big pile of shit. Games like Payday 3, Redfall, Gollum, The Day Before, Saints Row. Honestly, the list over the past few years goes on and on, and I could keep adding major AAA games that were just unfinished and garbage any way you look at them. The most recent of these is Skull and Bones, which is one of the most boring games I have honestly ever played. On the surface, it's Assassin's Creed Black Flag ship mechanics and combat, but Ubisoft took out every aspect of the game that made those mechanics fun. Even shipboarding is just a very short cutscene. There are a few mechanics in Skull and Bones, such as throwing spears at sharks that look directly ripped from Black Flag. If you remember, you used to be able to spear fish for sharks and whales, but somehow they're still worse. Saint Anne's Horizon might hold the sunrise. I. Hang tight! The grand shot, Cadden! Nice one! Getting back to my original point, it feels like we're finally getting to the end of this dark tunnel and I can see the light and let me tell you, it is beautiful. With games like Baldur's Gate 3, Power World, and Shrouded, Helldivers 2, Skull Island Rise of Kong. Wait, did I just read that right? Skull Skull Island, right? Yeah, no, sure. No, 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 no. You you get back over to the bad list. I really wanted to put the finals in battle bit in here as well, because initially I really enjoyed those games, but more recently I haven't been playing them as much, to be honest. They just haven't grabbed my attention as much as the other games I mentioned here have been. More recently, Helldivers 2, which aside from the servers being full, just nonstop, good luck playing it, which is a great problem for the devs to have, is an absolute home run of a game that my buddies and I have been playing constantly, when we can get into the servers, of course. It, honestly, it's already set the standard for the year for me, and I know going forward, I will compare every single game to Helldivers 2, like every single one, shooter or not, if it doesn't hold the level of entertainment to me that Helldivers 2 does, it's just not going to be worth it for me in the long run. Because of these games, I've really started to get excited to play video games again, and maybe it's just me, but these games have given me a lot of hope for the rest of the year, and even the future beyond that, I think, um, for video games in general. I just really hope the trend of good games continues and forces the major corporations to really look themselves in the mirror and figure out that if they want to make money, it's going to take better games than the garbage they've been feeding us. What do you guys think? Are the tides of the gaming industry starting to shift for the better or was the recent cycle of good games a fluke that is bound to fizzle out? If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah.